gaming keyboard, me or my little brother. Today, we're gonna be putting that to the test. We order two boxes filled with random materials and whatever box we pick, we'll have to make an entire keyboard out of what's inside. We have one hour to finish putting together the keyboard and to see whose keyboard build is better. They'll be tested on the performance and design of the keyboard. Let's go. All right, we have two different mystery boxes with different materials to build our keyboards with, all right? I'm not sure if I'm actually getting this keyboard, but we're, I'm just staying in front of it. Mini Mama, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be building keyboards with different random materials that I don't even know what like is in here. I, don't I have no idea. It could be anything. It could literally be wood, and we have to build a keyboard out of wood. So basically, we're gonna have one hour to build this keyboard. Out of one hour? Only one hour to build a keyboard out of the materials in these boxes. The winner, guess what the winner gets? What? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Whatever. Let's go. A better keyboard. You I'm ready? gonna buy myself a new keyboard. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can use this one if you want. No, I, I don't want to use a dirt keyboard. Before we go into the rest of the video, we have a word from our sponsor, Ugreen. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Ugreen's new Nexode and Gan X charger. This is the Gan X 65 watt charger. It has two USB C ports and a USB A port. You can literally charge up to three devices all at the same time with this Gan charger. This thing is super super compact and it it also has a flippable switch for easier carrying. And also just take a look at the size compared to my iPhone. Holy crap, this thing is really, really small. Not only that, but the GAN X could charge a variety of different devices, such as your phone, tablets, and headphones, all from a single charger. And if you want anything smaller than this, Ugreen is offering the Nexo 45 watt charger. Holy crap, this thing is actually clean. I'm definitely gonna be swapping these out with my old Apple chargers because these things are absolutely insane. Make sure to go check out Ugreen's awesome chargers in the description down below and with that being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, so here let's go ahead and unbox my material and see what I got to work with, okay? Okay, let's see. What the heck? Okay, so we got some little sticky pads here. Okay. 60% keyboard. I have no so idea. This is gonna be your base for yeah, your my thing? keyboard. Uh, RK gaming keyboard. I think it's the default like 60% gaming keyboard. Okay, so okay. Hopefully it's good. It sounds good. What the heck is this? So we got some Lego stickers. Okay, it's <laughs> custom. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me it's a Lego. What? It's a Lego? Lego keyboard? You better make a Lego keyboard, bro. All right, so let's go open this thing up real quick. Ooh, what? Okay, what is this that? is a 60% mechanical keyboard. Di uh, diarrhea? Diarrhea. So we got a 60% keyboard, okay? Brown. Why is there spray paint? Why is there spray paint? Paint is wet. It's going to break the keyboard, you idiot. Okay, well, I have to use it. I have to use okay. it somehow. Okay, and then, um, ooh, some extra key. Caps. Oh, okay. okay. Some extra keycaps we could work with, and then what? What the? I'm, what? I'm making a grass keyboard. Grass? A grass keyboard? Wait, but there's no way. What? Grass keyboard? Dude, oh my god. Right. We exactly have one hour to build these keyboards. Ready? I'm out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, one show. hour. It starts right now. All right, guys. I gotta get started, okay? So, um, what do I have to do first? Okay, what do I have to do first? So, we only have one hour to build this keyboard, and I have to conserve, you know, what I have and all the material I have, because we only have four squares of grass here, and we gotta make this thing fit on every single keycap of the keyboard, and, you know, it has to look good, all right, if you wanna win this challenge. So, first, what we gotta do is move all this to the side right now because we don't even have our keyboard yet. And um, we just gotta unbox this keyboard right now and see what we're working with. Diarrhea keyboard, let's see what we got here. We'll open this up. Ooh! So it's just a nice white 60% mechanical keyboard. We also got some keycap holders. I mean, a keycap holder right here, a wire for it. Oh, okay, these are brown switches, okay? This is why they sound better than red. Hey, if this comes out good, I might honestly use this. Okay, so four squares of grass here, okay? It takes three squares to fully, oh, it actually takes two squares to fully cover the keyboard, okay? We got two extra ones if we, you know, make any mistakes. This thing is actually gonna look really, really nice. Yeah, so when someone tells me to touch grass while I'm playing a game and I'm sweating, I'm basically touching grass, you know, while I'm playing with this keyboard. That's a, that's a cool thing to, you know, use a keyboard for. So since this keyboard is white, I can actually use the spray paint, the brown spray paint to make it look like dirt on the bottom, okay? So what I gotta do first is, Take all the keycaps off because cover you know the inside mechanical parts so the spray paint doesn't get inside. And then uh, we're gonna be going outside, spraying this, dry it up, and then you know um, cut out these squares. Alright, so we just got to my setup right now, and let's go ahead and unbox our materials so we see what we have to work with. And we only have an hour, so I'm trying to make everything super quick. But let's go ahead and unbox the keyboard first because this is where we're gonna be designing. Oh, okay, we got a clean white uh, canvas right here. Okay, I like it. All right, thank God it's white because if it was any other color, it would look kind of stupid. So white, it makes it look nice and clean, and I have some you know I can basically just do any colors on this. So perfect sound test for the keyboard. 
sounds pretty good, okay? Okay, now we got the keyboard out. Let's go ahead and unbox the Lego. All right, there we go. We're opening it up. It says there's a thousand inside, so I think I'm gonna only take one box out for now because uh, if we take all the boxes out, we don't even need that much Lego. So let's go ahead and open up this cardboard box. How do we even open it up? Oh, bro, these blocks are huge. I did not know they'd be this big, all right? First of all, we got some long blocks like the shift piece and stuff, so it should be fine. I think we're gonna use this tape to go on the outside of it right here, and then uh, we're gonna use the sticky stuff right here to put the keys on. So uh, let's go ahead and get to work. We only have like around 55 minutes now. It took a while. Um, let's go ahead and get to work. Let's go. All right, so go ahead and start working on this now, and I'll give you guys some updates as I go along. So first, we'll pull out these keys. And it's gonna take a while, bro. I gotta do this fast. Okay, so we also need some time to dry the keyboard after we spray paint it. So that's why I'm gonna rush right now. We have to give it like 20 minutes to fully dry because I don't want paint on my hands and it's gonna stain like whatever my shirt. So uh, I gotta wait. All right, so the main problem is, okay, so we got all the keycaps off. So now it's time to basically cover all the mechanical parts. So the only solution I have to cover the top part is just duct tape it. Like duct tape this to this side. So that will cover all the spray paint from going inside, you know, the switches and all the mechanical parts. So uh, it will save us a lot of time. And uh, yeah, it's covering everything really, really good in the seal. You gotta make sure it doesn't go inside the tight C port right there. So uh, let's do another little, a little, another little row of duct tape. All right, so the entire keyboard is covered in duct tape. So we're gonna be spray painting this part right here, and then also, you know, everything around in the borders, the back side. So it looks like it's dirt, and then on top, it's gonna be grass. I think our idea for this keyboard is gonna come out really, really good, and I can't wait. So uh, we just need one more thing to cover, and that is the Type C port, okay? So we just need to get a little, a little square for that part, and it should be good. All right, now that we have the entire keyboard covered, so, you know, it's it's uh, spray paint proof now. Now it's time to go outside to spray paint this thing brown and see how this comes out. Hopefully, you know, it is a brown color, okay? So hopefully it doesn't turn out to be like another color. Yeah, I'm actually excited to see how this comes out. Let's go outside and spray paint this thing. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this little uh, sticky stuff. All right, it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to take. Perfect, we got everything set up now. Now it's time to actually start building. So let's go ahead, first step, I guess, is take the sticky thing off. All right, guys, first column done, okay? We got a long way to go. This is taking a while, so hopefully we're not here for too long and we can finish under the hour, but we got the first row done in 10 minutes. We got the first row done in around eight minutes, so we got one, two. We should be done in around 30 to 40 minutes, so. All right, so we got the second row done now. We got three rows to go. I'm also getting pretty tired and bored of this, but uh, we got to get it done. But yeah, so let's keep working at it, and uh, I'll let you guys know once we're done with the third row. We have to go outside now. All right, guys, we're all ready to go right now. We got keyboard and we got spray paint. I never ever done, I never ever used a spray paint before. So uh, yeah, hopefully you know I do it good. Guys, that entire keyboard is blended in with the brown. Is it gonna work? It's supposed to be a glossy finish, so I get like why it's glossy and also it's kind of wet right now. I think we did a good job. Hopefully the underside isn't wet. Okay, now we gotta wait like 40, 30 minutes left till this whole thing gets done, until it gets dry. So that's gonna buy a lot of our time, but uh, yeah, we gotta wait for that. Later. I'm not getting it so far. It's gonna kind of dry. Maybe about another five minutes or so, and uh, yeah, we should be good. Bye. All right, the keyboard is back. It's all dried up. Now we gotta do is just take this little tape part out. Now hopefully there's no paint down on the side. All right, so far looking good. There we go. So the bottom is completely brown now. Like the whole thing is brown, as you guys can see. There's one downside to it is that it's kind of sticky. It's still kind of sticky, but we're running out of time, all right? So we have no time to spare at all. It's brown. Now we gotta just go to the keys, cut some grass pieces out, and then hook it up to the uh, keyboard. And then I think it's gonna look honestly really, really nice right now. Still, like, like if I touch it, my fingerprint will kind of go on it if I press it hard enough. I think it honestly looks pretty good, guys. Like there's no key left with different colors uh, in this bag right here so we gotta open up another one and we are getting pretty close to our time limit so we gotta work faster so let's go ahead and open this up quickly and finish these last couple letters and then we also gotta put the tape on so still got a bit to do but hopefully we can get through it all right
All right, guys, so there's like 17 minutes left right now, and I'm at the part where I have to cut these things out and put it on the keycap. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get this. I have a pen here, and I'm going to be tracing the length of this keycap around this little uh, grass uh, tarp right here. And then I'm going uh, to just cut it out, glue it on top here, and then add it to the keyboard. So I have to do that for literally like 100 of keycaps. Here. That wouldn't have like what 16 minutes, but I have to do this right now. All right, so uh, let's just start. Let's oh, dude, we have a grass base bar, dude. This is gonna look crazy. Right, we gotta hurry up and do the rest. All right, guys, here is the progress. It's looking really, really good. It actually looks like grass. Like, look at this thing, bro. We're almost that. I want to see what it looks like when all the keycaps are on and everything is green. So, so far, it's looking really, really nice. And I'm actually really, really happy how it's turning out. Let's keep going at it. We only have a couple more minutes left to finish this thing, and then we're done. <sighs> this is so time-consuming, bro. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's time. It's time. All right, so the time is done. I can no longer touch my keyboard. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good. We got everything on. Lego keycaps are on, and the little stickers for the side are also on. It's time to finally put these keyboards to the test. We can't touch our keyboards anymore. Minnie, I'm coming down there. You better not touch your keyboard. I better have to. I need to check up on this guy to make sure he's not touching his keyboard. That is one hour exactly. It's time to, you know, give this keyboard to the judge, and Mini Mom must be giving his keyboard to the judge. I want to see what Mini Mom's keyboard actually looks like, but. Oh my god, this was a workshop, bro. Holy, look at all the little bits of grass. I made the grass gaming keyboard right over there, all right? All right, so for the first challenge, we're gonna be testing the performances of this keyboard. Bro, mine is so prickly, like, it, I, it feels so weird. But it's actually hard. How am I gonna play with this? It, my keys are so wiggly. Yours actually, yeah, yours is not stable. Dude, it's like fuzzy. I died, I died! <laughs> Like, it's so wiggly, and I can't press my number key buttons. Like, what should I do? I got set. Look, I can't I can't take my pickaxe out. I can't take ah, my pickaxe out. My thing feels fuzzy. Dude, how am I playing with this? Oh, no, no. Oh. Let's go, Cracked. Come on. I'm AFK. I can't help you. No. I no. What are what? How are you not dying? I'm hitting it for 20 damage! No! I'm hitting it for 20 damage! Relax, it's 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. Winner take this last one. No, no. Dude, you think yours is bad? Mine's like, I can't tell what's It's so wiggly bad. and horrible. I swear to God, this keyboard's bad. I can't even edit pro- Oh! No! Bro! Ah! Uh, what? 40 damage? I swear, Fortnite's so bad. Let's go! What this garbage oh. keyboard? What no, this garbage dude. keyboard? Are you serious? Dude, oh my. Okay, I think our keyboards are, are uh, evenly bad. No, because, like, no, no, no. No one's gonna be. All right, bro. All right, you won challenge number one. Okay. Oh my god, how? How did I lose that? Uh, okay, I'm about to smash my keyboard. You set me up for failure when you gave me a broken keyboard. This is your plan all along, right? That wasn't my plan. It was, because you did this to me. You gave me a broken keyboard. We both chose a different bot. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. You give me a broken keyboard. I need to win this challenge. I actually need to win this. My hands are. I can't. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Oh, you have to behind her. See that triangle? Yeah. Oh, on that on the tree, left side, left side tree. Okay. What? I got stunned. Let me get me, hurry, hurry. I, no, like, no, I no, took no, a sniper no. shot for you. Hold on, hold on. I got massive. I, I'm holding it. Here, take this, take this. That's a, wait, what? Uh, where am I getting shot from? I'm holding it. Left. Uh, I'm holding it. I should have threw it. What kind of gun is that? I have no idea. My keyboard is not working. I can't get my mini shield. Use it. 60, 60, Play 60. Crack, 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 crack. I got oh, him. Oh. No, he stole my kill reaction. Reaction stole my kill, bro. I did. No way, bro. Give me some minis, but I need that big pot. Sorry, I'm not giving you. Crack. Let's go! Finally got my first kill. Oh my god. You tried, you tried stealing it from me, you idiot kid. Get down, get down, get down. You're gonna break us. Get all the loot, get all the loot, get all the loot. You made me drop down already. I have no mask. I'm about to die. You know, like, my buttons are wiggly. I can't. Oh, Rift, Rift, Rift. Slow, slow, slow. You ready? Let's go. You want to land? Oh, guys, up here. Let's go. I'm landing. You didn't even know. Crap, crap, crap. You stole my kill, bro? Another guy here. Another guy here. Dude, I'm popping off. Stop stealing my kills, bro, please. Dude, what do you want me to do? I'm just killing them. You're being I'm annoying. You're being an annoying kid. Dead. Nice. Dumb bot. He should break us down. Get sniper. Don't get sniped. Don't get sniped. Don't get sniped. Dead! 
Good, good. I got him, I got him, I got him. He's, he's, he's dead. Oh my god, man, you're popping off. No, what? 2v1, 2v1, no. No. No, no, it could be. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, wait, it says three squads. Three teams? No, three players or teams. Oh, okay, yeah, squads. Yeah, two squads. Left. I can't play. Continue inside. Continue inside. I can't, I can't, I can't switch my guns. It's not oh, working. Oh. It's not working. It's not. I can't switch my guns for some. Dude, don't do that. Why you think I'm trying to do that, bro? Like, shut up. I can't, I can't take it off. I can't, I can't, I can't. It's done. Swear to God, break it? swear to God, Fortnite is a dead game. Swear to God.